OK, James. Solve the confusion. What's the difference between this unit and that one? The important thing is that a PLB is for you and an ELT is for your plane. So the ELT is installed in the plane and is registered to the plane. The PLB, you can take it sailing, you can take it hiking, and of course, you can take it in your plane. Right. So why don't I just buy this one if I can take it in my plane as opposed to buying that bigger one when the price is so much different? For a start, in some countries you have to have an ELT, it's required by law. But where you don't have to have an ELT, a lot of people do just buy the small one, buy a PLB. But there's one key thing that it won't do for you, and it won't raise the alarm if you're unconscious, because it's entirely manual activation, whereas the ELT has got a G-switch inside which senses the crash, and so it sends off a signal to the satellites, uh, even if you're unconscious. So that for when I'm unconscious, and this one just for manual use, if I get out of the plane, all in one piece. Exactly. G this has got GPS. Yeah. Has that got GPS? We make ELTs that have GPS and those that don't. We've got the Canad Compact, which has no GPS in it, but it's a lower cost unit, and then there's the Integra, and that's got an internal GPS. One of the things that's important to remember is that not all GPSs are the same. Because our GPS is internal and there's no connection to the fabric of the aircraft electrically, installation costs are quite low because you don't have to do special certification paperwork. Whereas if you connect the device into the, uh, into the panel, to a panel GPS, that can cost a lot of money in certification paperwork. So the Integra is really good in that respect because it's got GPS inside but it's not going to cost you so much to install. What happens though if you knock the antenna off in, on the plane when you crash? Will that still work? Yes, because it's also got an internal 406 megahertz antenna. You're quite right to, to raise the point about uh, uh, antennas coming off in crashes. Particularly in woods, everything outside the aeroplane, even the wings sometimes, get ripped off. And so it's a really good idea here that we've got a 406 antenna inside. But the device will look for the outside antenna first. It'll try and transmit on the outside antenna. But if it detects that that antenna has, is missing, then it will switch to the internal antenna and transmit on that. Okay. So you're covered in everywhere. Okay. So in summary, PLB for you, ELT for your aeroplane. Or if you really want to cover all bases, buy both. <laughs>